Welcome Leo. My name is Renee and this is your love reading for December. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, what do we have for Leo? Service. And facade. Okay. I'm going to take one more. And mysticism. Okay, so Taurus. I feel like you're currently on this journey. I feel like you're working very hard. You are. But I feel like you're living a lie. I feel like you're living a lie, Leo. And I feel like you're really seeing things as really not knowing your self-worth. But I feel like you need to come to the real realization that you are worthy of any situation. And you have this mysticism card. Excuse me. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is magic. This is magic. Um, this is the magician energy. So I feel like this is a new beginning for you. I feel like if if this isn't a new beginning in love, this is a new beginning of you realizing how worthy you are of receiving the love that you deserve. Yeah, and you have such a spirit of gratitude, Leo, I feel like. And if you're not being grateful for the things that you are given in life, I feel like it's time to really take time to be grateful for the things that you have, things that are coming forward for you. You have exposed and revealed. So yeah, I feel like these realizations are being exposed to you. You're being revealed that you are worthy of all situations. And I feel like someone's going to come in and they are going to entertain you. This call of the muse, I feel like someone's going to come in for some happy relief in your situation. Someone's going to uplift you with their thoughts, their feelings, their actions. What do we have for Leo? The Emperor. Leo. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh. The King of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Cups. The Six of Wands. And the Hangman. Now the Hangman's in reverse. We'll go ahead and take him like that. Okay. You also have the Eight of Wands. So there is a lot of communication here. There is... Um, people coming through, they see who you are, Leo. Um, there's, you're going to receive a lot of communication in December. A lot of people are going to be talking to you. A lot of people are maybe going to be asking you out. Um, you have this emperor energy and this knight of pentacles. So I feel like this emperor energy. Now, this emperor energy, he can be kind of controlling at times. He can be very assertive, very um, strategic in the things that he does. But I feel like this emperor 
is kind of standing by. He's standing back watching. Um, I feel like he wants to communicate with you, but I feel like he really is waiting for his opportune moment, if that makes sense. And now this could be a he or she. I just have to clarify that. Um, now you have the King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like with um, this King of Cups, you may meet somebody during some kind of socialization. Um, you may meet somebody at work. The Three of Pentacles, this is normally like you cor cor uh, corabulating. That's not what I want to say. You are working with the team. You're working together. Um, so this could be that you're going to meet somebody at work or you're just going to meet somebody at a gathering sometime during you socializing at a event maybe. It may be at an event. But yeah, I feel like this King of Cups is coming through. Now this King of Cups, he's very assertive. And he's very passionate. He's very, mm, he wears his emotions on his sleeves, but he's also able to control his emotions very well. But he's very empathetic to your needs. And I feel like this, this King of Cups is going to kind of light a fire within you, some kind of new beginning. They want this new relationship to build and they want it to move forward. They may also give you an offer, maybe an offer to move forward, an offer to move in. But I feel like there's definitely some kind of new beginning in love in this situation. And I feel like that has to do with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is wanting to be victorious in this situation. I feel like they're going to bring you a lot of happiness. They're going to make you feel overjoyed. I feel like they have their eyes all on you. I feel like they're very focused. They're very, um, they're very focused on taking care of you. They're very focused on giving you what it is that you need, what you want. But I feel like with this King of Cups energy, I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy in your life. You also have the hangman in reverse. So I feel like you're not even going to be leading with your mind on this. I feel like you're totally going to be following your heart in this situation. You're not even going to think about it. You're just going to kind of go with the flow. I feel like you are seeing this from your perspective and you don't want to change perspectives on the situation. But I feel like this is something that you don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to sacrifice this situation. Very interesting. Okay. What is an outcome for Leo, please? Give an outcome for Leo. Oh, okay. The Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is going to really bring your happiness. This situation may be your happily ever after. And I feel like they're going to bring new thoughts and new ideas. They're going to they're gonna help you through a lot of your hard times. You actually have the Ace of Cups as well. Oh my gosh. And you have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. So yeah, I feel like you're moving into this situation. I feel like you're, you feel like your cup is overflowed. You feel very overwhelmed with those feelings. And I feel like you are, you're definitely ready for this new beginning. You have the, the Ace of Cups on the Ace of Wands. So this is going to be something that's full of passion, full of love, full of joy. So very Okay, you're ending it right. You're ending it right, Leo. You're definitely ending it right. Okay. Let's get a little bit more clarity on this card. Let's get a little bit more clarity here. Okay. Get a final outcome. 
Okay. Yeah, what you need to let go of, Leo, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, so you don't want this love blocked. This love wants to overflow in your situation. So whatever this was before, whatever situation you had before, you need to find forgiveness in your situation and imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Yeah, so make sure to really heal your mind. Uh, find balance. Find um, your center, Leo. And this situation, when it comes through, you'll be very capable, very ready for the situation to be nourished, to be um, grown and just fill yourself with the, the possibilities. Okay, Leo, this is your reading for December. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And as always, Leo, have a wonderful December. Many blessings to you. Love and light.